YouTube, Kurt Curtis, Mr. Dividends. I'm a part-time eBay seller and dividend stock investor. In this video, I'm gonna show you every single item I sold on eBay this week, including a couple sweepers. This is the second week in a row. I'm starting off the week with a ZZ Top CD sale. We got the CD Afterburner brand new sealed. I paid a dollar for it, ended up selling for $9.49. Solid DVD sale here. Um, we got this Creation Seminar uh, 10 disc set. This is brand new sealed. I got this for 50 cents, ended up selling for $47.49. All right, next up, I had one buyer buy the next three items. However, they did it in separate order. So, first up, got the small base wound markers for War Machine. This sold for $9.49. They also picked up the medium base wound markers for $9.49. And finally, they picked up the large base wound markers for $9.49. So I'm going to save on shipping here, shipping all three of these together. Um, these things are super light, so it probably cost the same to ship one of these as it would to ship all three. Got a video game going out. Got Resident Evil, The Dark Side Chronicles for the Wii. This is complete with the manual, and the disc is actually in really good shape, like almost perfect condition. So the condition of the disc can actually make a huge difference when listing video games. But yeah, I paid $2 for this at a yard sale. Ended up selling for $28.49. Sold a DVD. Got Disney Enchanted. This is brand new sealed. I paid a dollar for this. Ended up selling for $9.49. Got another DVD sale. This is The Hobbit. However, this is an animated version. I believe these are out of print. So, you know, in a situation like this where this is brand new sealed, can get some decent money. I paid 50 cents for this. Ended up selling for $19.99. Sold an NES game. Got Alpha Mission with the manual. Ended up selling for $14.24. Sold this double feature Swan Princess DVD. This is brand new sealed. I paid a dollar for it. Ended up selling for $9.99. I had one person pick up two Guild Ball figures. Um, their total for this order was $36.48. Uh, this one right here was actually pretty valuable, sold for $23.74 itself. But yeah, once again, I'm gonna save on shipping here, so a pretty good sale. Next up, sold this lot of 10 He-Man toys. All these figures were um, intact. Um, they weren't broken like the last auction I did. However, upon looking these up, without their weapons and everything, they really just weren't worth listing individually, so I just threw them up at auction. Um, this auction ended and the buyer didn't pay. So how that works, if you don't know, the buyer has 20, uh, 48 hours to pay. And if they don't pay after 48 hours, you can open an unpaid item case, which then gives them an additional four days to pay. And if they don't pay after the four days, then they get a knock on their profile and then the case is closed. And I guess you can just relist your item. Um, the 48 hours uh, came up and then I opened the case and then another, another day happened and then the buyer paid. So I'm happy they paid. Because usually if, if they don't pay within 48 hours, at least from my experience, they're not going to pay at all. But they did eventually pay, which is awesome. This lot ended up selling for $61, which at this point is all profit. Got another Guild Ball figure going out. Got Vile Swarm. This ended up selling for $13.99. Sold this graphic novel, Regular Show, Volume 1. This was actually free. This was a throw-in from that huge manga buy I did uh, back last year. Um, ended up selling for $9.99. Got another Guild Ball miniature going out. Sold Meat Hook. Ended up selling for $9.99. Sold a CD. Um, we got Enya and Winter Came. This is brand new sealed. I paid 50 cents for it. Ended up selling for $10.24. I can't believe someone actually bought one of these Ryback shirts. This is a WWE shirt. In my opinion, this was like an awful wrestler. Um, but it was a WWE shirt, so I did pick it up. This thing finally sold for $9.99. Next up has got to be the sale of the week. Um, we got Return of the King. This is an Easton Press book. Uh, turns out Easton Press books are super valuable. I didn't know this when I bought it. Um, I found out later. Um, I picked this up at a yard sale. Um, I believe it was in my last haul video. I got this one and I also got a copy of The Hobbit, an Easton Press book as well. <clears throat> but yeah, um, to be honest, I almost didn't even pick these up at the yard sale because there wasn't the complete set. And um, I don't know, last minute, I just decided to buy them because like, just the quality of the book just caught my attention. It just seemed super nice. So yeah, I paid a dollar for this. Ended up selling for $94.99. Get the broom! Sold this Battle Armor Skeletor. No weapons or anything, just the figure by itself. Ended up selling for $19.99. Sold this Impala SS Revel model. This is brand new sealed. I picked this up at a yard sale for five bucks, along with some other models. It ended up selling for $37.99. 
At the time of recording this, I only have 10 of the DVDs from that big buy I just did listed. Uh, this was one of them, though, and it sold already. So this is the first DVD sale from that big lot. We got Sarah Brightman uh, World Tour Live DVD. This is brand new sealed. I paid a dollar for it. Ended up selling for $12.74. Sold the natural. This is brand new sealed. I paid 50 cents for it. Ended up selling for $9.99. Sold another Guild Ball miniature. Uh, this is a pretty good one. Ended up selling for $24.22, and I still have two more available. Got a video game going out. Got the Simpsons game for the Wii. This is pre-owned, however, it is complete. I paid $5 for this at a yard sale. Ended up selling for $18.99. Sold a Blu-ray, The Blind Side. This is brand new sealed with the slipcover. I paid 33 cents for this, ended up selling for $9.99. I had someone pick up two Guild Ball miniatures, both from the Mason's Guild, Brick and Tower. Their total for this order was $19.98. Next up, I sold these two Rhinos. I got these in that big bag of He-Man stuff. However, I don't think they're the same brand as the He-Man figures. I think it's like a knockoff brand or something. However, there was still value here. The lot sold for $37.99. Sold Fight Club on Blu-ray. This is brand new sealed. This is part of the big 1000 DVD buy I just did recently. I paid a dollar for this, ended up selling for $9.99. Sold this Redline Hot Wheel. I picked this up at a yard sale. Um, I just picked it up because because it was Redline. That's really the only reason. I knew that some of these could have some value. Um, I didn't know how much though. Upon doing some research when I got home, it looked like this thing to have some decent value, but I just couldn't quite put a number on it. So I threw it up on auction. And um, I would have been happy if this thing sold for like 10, 15 bucks. I paid 50 cents for it, ended up selling for 5601. It's later on in the week now, so I have a lot more DVDs listed from that big 1000 DVD buy I did. Um, what I have listed though still isn't even a dent to what I what I still can list. But yeah, Requiem for a Dream paid a dollar for it, ended up selling for $9.99. This is also from the Thousand DVD buy Apocalypse Now, brand new sealed, paid a dollar for it, ended up selling for $9.99. Sold this lot of two X-Wing figures. Um, I think this is the last of the X-Wing stuff that I have. This lot ended up selling for $23.99. Another DVD from the big buy I just did, got Mr. 3000, paid a dollar for it. This is brand new sealed, ended up selling for $9.99. Sold North by Northwest, this is brand new sealed in the snap case. I paid 50 cents for this, ended up selling for $10.99. And last sale for the week, got another DVD, The Bridges of Madison County. This is brand new sealed in the snap case. I paid 50 cents for this, ended up selling for $10.20. So I want to go over something real quick about selling these DVDs. Um... I really don't sell anything for less than $10 on eBay right now. Um, occasionally I throw 5% offers to watchers out, so I guess something could sell for like $9.49, but I don't really go much lower than that. And um, a lot of these DVDs are listed for less on eBay, but I still post them for $10. And um, here's the reason why. For example, this DVD right here that someone just bought for $9.99, uh, you can go on eBay right now and get this thing for like 5 bucks free shipping, but someone still bought mine for $9.99. Um, the reason is the $5 one has a stock photo, so you don't actually get to see the item you're receiving. And um, like people might not trust what item they'll receive, maybe it'll be damaged. With mine, they can see the actual condition of it and they can see for themselves the exact item they're receiving. Also, some people that do post regular pictures, like not stock photos, they might just have bad pictures. Like, you know, it's a cheap item, they don't put too much time into it. So they might have it up for $7 free shipping, but they take one photo of just the front and it's like a crooked blurry picture or something. Like someone might not be willing to buy that. So yeah, like this I have posted for $9.99 and I just took um, good photos. I take like usually three photos of a DVD, the front, back, and then the side to show them, show them the seal. And then if there's any kind of problem with it, I'll take an additional picture of that. But if it's in good condition, I just take those three pictures and that's going above and beyond for most of the pictures you're gonna see. Um, for these DVDs. So yeah, I thought I'd let you guys know that, that, you know, sometimes just because people are selling it for four or five bucks free shipping doesn't mean you can't um, still get your 10 bucks. So at the start of the week, I only had 10 of the DVDs I got from that big buy listed. And then um, towards the end of the week when I didn't have work and I actually had a chance to list, I listed some more. I listed a lot. So I have a total of 74 of those DVDs um, listed. Obviously, you, you just saw a few of them sold already. But um, yeah, I have 226 sealed ones and um, only 74 of them have been listed so far, plus all the pre-owned ones. 
So it's going to be quite the challenge just to get these DVDs listed before Christmas time, let alone all the other stuff I had before I even picked up the DVDs. So yeah, I didn't go to any sales or anything like that. Um, numbers though for this week, I sold $686.35 gross sales and a total of 36 items. So not that great, but not that bad. Kind of just in the middle there. Can't complain. Um, link to my eBay store is in the video description. If you want some DVDs, I got a bunch of them. Also, the link to my Instagram store is down there as well. Until next time. Hey, Robert, can I get a high, yeah? <laughs>